Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. <coughs> no time to explore the neighborhood, dude. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. <laughs> Did I lock Better keep my cash for Daniel first. Are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Oh, I'm at the Ericsson's. Ooh, you're with Charles? That's good. Didn't know he had any relatives. He's, um, my uncle, but a uh, long time no see, you know? Sure, sure. I thought it was just him and his son. Glad he's got you around now. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Gotta order more Yule Logs tomorrow. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it too. Right? Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um... Yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. 
Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <gasps> and you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of there? <laughs> oh, the pros join forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not going to eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's going to call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Uh, 
Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah. They have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf.
Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you, so you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all Read this stuff? I read a lot of these room? in the 10th grade. When he left. Yawn. I don't know when I know. I wish I could answer that. Okay. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking, but here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. Hmm, so that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume, from what I remember. Oh. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. How 
how weird are these sunglasses? They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. Did she tell you why she left? She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too, right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. Hi, Teddy Bear. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing too. I know. These pictures are so random. <sighs> yeah, you finally left forever, coward. These pictures are so oh, you were random. My mommies? I hope she took good care of you. It's like she almost never used those. Did she take you with her when she went on trips? I wonder my mom loved it so much. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. I don't recognize any of these games. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. <sighs> I miss my music. I think it's not plugged. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me Daniel. see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop out. In this case, I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Well, is that all you have to say? Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. 
We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. What's the problem then? If there's nothing to see, why lock us out? Or get mad. It's like you're in denial. I know that mom left us. And yeah, it made me mad. But at least we've moved on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy, after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. <sighs> Thank you. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. They were spotted at the Christmas market earlier today. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can. Okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs.
you want today. Sorry. Uh, wish we could. You better come back. Hold on a second. Here. This is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go! Take the Troll Forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway, before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard.
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. <laughs>